Alright, so we have an assembler, a refinery. I'm going to need to do some drilling probably. But I think the objective now is going to be to build a small ship of some kind. Like a very small ship. In fact, I could convert the vehicle into a ship, thinking about it. It's already got cargo containers on it. It's already got batteries on it. We could make it into a hover ship. That could work. Sorry, a hover car, I mean. This could, this, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. What should I call this? Um, I'm gonna just I'm gonna look up random words. Just okay, Google. Give me a random word. Aberrant, adjective, not the norm. Well, it's not the norm. That's you know what? That is perfect. We'll go with that. This is now called the. Uh, what was it? Uh, that's an adjective that means, if you didn't hear that, not the norm. So there you go. So here it is. No, no it isn't. We need to fit gyroscopes. I don't, I really don't want to forget to put gyroscopes on this thing. I definitely will find out the hard way if I don't. Uh, put one there. To be honest, one, one will probably be enough. I'll give it a little try in a second. I really hope 14 was enough. Yes, it was. Okay, alright. Now I'm going to empty my inventory into here. And I'm going to give this thing a test flight, but first I want to set up a couple of connectors so that I can charge this thing. Now this doesn't really need to be conveyed up. It would if it was a drill ship, but it's just going to be pulling power from the base. And uh, while I'm at it, I'll do this one as well. Oh dear, we're out of components. Well, that's good. We'll need iron and nickel. What can we get rid of that has those in it? There's that one power cell, there's a few radio communication things, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get rid of some metal grids actually. Got that one done, and now this one. There we go. Yeah, that gyroscope is definitely enough, look at this. We're going to get this recharged up a little bit, then we can go adventuring. Only going to take four hours to recharge, so I'll get a second wind turbine. I could go for another three, actually. There we go. Alright. So, what are the batteries saying now? 56 minutes. There we go. Good. There's a lot of power going into them. That's alright. It's been charging for about 10 minutes in total, so I'll be launching this vehicle very soon. So I think about now, I'm going to be taking off. And I'm going to head in the direction of where the sun set. Turn these thrusters on. Connectors have been disabled. And the aberrant is in the air. And it is not going to last long if I use these thrusters that much. So we're going to head in this direction in search of ice. This is kind of going to be an away mission. Uh, of such, you know. Just to hopefully find something, some form of ice. I'm about 200 meters in the air. Now, what is that down there? I can't work it out because it's a bit foggy. And I can't I can't really see what's going on. I think those are just uh, caverns down there. I don't think there's ice. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set these thrusters on a very low forward override. And that will really save on power. There we go. As you can see, we are still accelerating. In fact, I'll, I'll kind of head in this direction because I don't really want to head towards those mountains just yet. Because that really will not go well. I just know it. The aberrant is in the air. And we can land at any time. Oh, we have something from the abandoned settlements mod here. Uh, pause, pause, pause. Uh, turn the override off. That was over here. I'm really, really hoping this thing isn't armed. Because if it is... That's going to put an end to this whole series very quickly. I don't have any components on me either. To build a camera or anything, I can't work it out. So I'm just going to go in blindly. Mm -hmm. 
that always works. There it is, about 2.5 kilometers away. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to about 800, maybe 600 meters away and see if anything shoots at me because I should be able to survive at that distance if I pull away quite quickly. Not seeing any gunfire, though we may not even be in range yet for, for those weapons to do anything. Oh, it's right below me. I did not see that. I completely went over that. That could have destroyed me. But it doesn't look like it's armed at all. That is... That's a... Wow, okay. I'm grateful for that. Thrusters off. And... Let's have a drive. Nice leisurely cruise. Okay. So with these components, I'm going to build a spotlight because... If I can't see much, I doubt you will be able to see much. Can I build one? I just need a large steel tube. I'm pretty sure I can get one from this antenna. Wow, look at all these components. This is a fully built antenna. Completely working as well. Anyway, we have a spotlight now. So I'm going to start taking all these components from this base. I'm going to, I'm going to park this away from the antenna so that the spotlight can kind of project onto everything. This kind of reminds me of the landscape of the vanilla start point in the uh, easy station map like the the mountains around it kind of looks similar but it isn't unfortunately as much as I'd like it to be because I love that map so at least I can see something now now to save hydrogen I'm going to start by grinding this down at the bottom so that it falls down and then I don't have to fly up and do anything that's quite a good way of avoiding using hydrogen. What the hell? What on earth? Okay. I thought it was doing a weird clang thing then. For a second. I think it may have been, to be honest, but I couldn't really tell. Of course, I have suit lights, don't I? What am I doing? How did I forget about the core function of space engineers? The, the, the lights in your suit. I don't really want to fill up the aberrant too much because, uh, well, look at it. This might not be able to fly if I put too much in it. But I want to get some pretty good stuff. There's a cargo container here. That's got some quite good stuff in it, actually. I'll take the components from it as well. I'm just going to double check there's no other cargo containers in here. What's that? What is that? Is that a remote control block? Like, fully? It is. Okay. We'll take that. So this is really kind of showing off the Abandoned Settlements mod and how good it is for finding basic components. Now, I don't really think the uh, overview I did did it justice, um, but I think this will because I'm actually doing a survival. Modded, yes, but still, the uh, the kind of core concept is the same. I mean, we've got quite a, quite a few components from nothing, you know, doing this. It's good. And how many things can we get from there? That not, Okay, not much anyway. Okay, that's good. Just getting some steel plates. To be honest, I don't think I should really get much more because... There isn't really any exciting stuff here. Um, the antenna was good though, because that's a full antenna which I could put on the base or a mining vehicle or something. I am going to head away from this now. Now, uh, which direction will I? Oh dear, that is my spotlight gone. Well, that's that was that's brilliant. Never mind. Let's get these thrusters on and let's get out of here. Where shall we go this time? I'm kind of... Mm, is that ice? Hang on. Is that what I think it is? I see something shiny over there. Could it be? Or is it just stone and it looks shiny shiny because it's dark and the moon's over there? I'm not sure, but that looks... It does look like ice. I don't think it's ice, I'm afraid. No, that's not ice. That is very much stone. Also, uh... Please tell me these aren't getting... Oh, dear. Well, that's that's not very good, is it? I haven't designed that very well. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this mid-air. What are you doing? I think the Aberrant is doing well, though. Considering this used to be just a normal vehicle. Though there is smoke coming off it now because of that wheel. But there's no need, no need to worry. No need to worry. It's absolutely fine. That's completely normal. I am slightly tempted to move over here, actually. 
I would much rather have a flat area to live on. I think that would just be a lot better and a lot safer. Especially for driving this vehicle around uh, when I'm not using the thrusters. So, you know, I have a bottle. I, I have one bottle of hydrogen. Like That, that will do. That will last. Um, so I'm going to head back. Obviously don't want to go smacking into this hill. When we eventually make it over to the other place, I'll uh, build a proper base. One with many more turbines and actual walls and a roof. But we took the Aberrant out for a spin and it definitely did what it was designed to do. Drive and fly. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do leave it a like as I really do appreciate it. And also consider subscribing to this channel as I post twice weekly. That's on Sundays and Wednesdays at 5pm uh, British time. Also, consider joining the Discord server. The link is always in the description of my videos and it was recently revamped to be in the style of the YouTube channel. It used to be just a kind of private server that was just owned by me, but now it's completely related to AMW Gaming. So please do consider joining that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.